people, 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 people. Que pasa, suck, pa, say what they do. Now, people have always heard the saying, Jamaican teeth like puss. And people, I can't validate or verify that Jamaicans are the teethest people in the world. However, they should be ranked up there with the best of the best or the worst of the worst of them. So, people, we have to ask the question, is Jamaica the place that has the most hyenaism? We are talking about two foot hyena and two foot pushery because people, it seems like everybody that works everywhere, it seems like they are always stealing from the job and people. This is just a general statement because the truth and the facts is that most Jamaicans are hardworking people. However, just generally speaking, we have some teeth in Jamaican. So people, I am going to let you listen to a voice note and also a video of some persons that got busted. We are speaking about on the job, on the act. So people, take a listen to this voice note and then I'm going to give my peace. Up top side where me live, the man will win. Don't ya? The man thief, the man cement, and the man go catch them. The man have one hardware. Don't a Santa Cruz stone. Our man from around where me live drive the truck. So he turn off with the man truck, and the man has somebody to watch the truck. Turn off with the man truck, car and load cement over in yard, and the man catch him. No, this is the garbage that you have been doing all along, Virgin. You know, take up, I'm a cement man, take it up. Take it up and put on my truck, man. Take it up. Imagine how me feed, you know, and deal, you know. Put on my cement on the truck, man, put it on back, man. Come in and get myself in the trouble, man. Now, people, based on the video, based on the audio, it seems as if this is somewhere in St. Elizabeth. I cannot verify or validate. However, the message is still the same. And based on the video, we see that these are two people. We are talking about a young man and an old man. And the both of them are thief. And based on the audio, it seems as if this is an MP or some sort of politician in the area. And he hired these two persons. And he owns some sort of um, hardware store where they sell building equipments, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. And people, you see, you can hear it in his voice that he is disappointed. And you can hear the young man has stuttered talk about people, you know how thief gets whenever they are caught in the act. And people in this act, they are caught red handed. Them get catch upon the spot. But people, the question that I have to ask is that is this a regular occurrence in a Jamaica? Everybody in a Jamaica just speaking generally seems as if they have some sort of kleptomaniacism in a them blood, in a them genes, point blank and period. Now, people, as it pertains to Jamaica, we see say, that is why Jamaica needs some sort of loss prevention because the truth and the fact that when we speak about places like America, our first world country, that is why they have loss prevention. That means that everything is inventory. Everything basically know where it is at, especially after it is sold. So therefore, they can go into their computer and basically press two button and see what is going on, what is sold or what is in the inventory. In Jamaica, not so much. So people, we have also realized that it seems as if Jamaicans, whenever they are looking some sort of job, they don't want a job. The first thing that they are going to ask, is there any sort of hustle? So people, the point that I am trying to make is that it seems as if Jamaicans are not satisfied enough to know that they are gainfully employed. They want some sort of hustle. They want a tea from the job. They want to make sure that they can steal people's property or people's belonging because they feel as if it belongs to them. Now what is even more disturbing about this whole thing is that this is not just isolated to Jamaicans living in Jamaica. We are speaking about Jamaicans living in foreign. Because people, if you ever live in a foreign and you go to any sort of business and you see a Jamaican, the first thing that is going to happen are on regular occasions, your eyes are going to make contact and he is going to offer you some sort of backdoor deal. And the truth and the fact is that because you know that you are going to save a couple of bucks, even if you are a person that is honest, you might even take that deal. So people, it just I show you it is like it is embedded in our genes 
So people, it seems as if Jamaicans are always looking for some sort of under the table or some backdoor deal. They are always looking for a deal, point blank and period. And people like me say, if you are rich or if you are poor, then you are going to look at the situation different because the truth and the facts that if you are poor and you don't have any sort of money or you can't afford certain things and you are going to get a deal, more than like the average person is going to basically take that deal. However, there are some set of person that basically go out their way, they get up every day and they go to this job and they are stealing from this job and people, it is to the detriment of this business because more than like it, this business might just be struggling, this business might just be keeping its head over the water and people, every time that you thief, you are going to put this business under, you are going to put this business out of business, point blank and period. So people, just based off this video and based off your life's experience as a Jamaican and dealing with Jamaican locally or internationally, we have to ask the question, is Jamaicans or are Jamaicans untrustworthy? Are they ungrateful and not basically valuing the fact that they have a job and the fact that this employer is basically paying you a salary, now you want to hustle people? Is that being ungrateful or is it being a thief? people let me know what you think in the comment section and the next thing that i also have to mention is the fact that whenever if you live in a jamaica and you have anybody doing any sort of work for you if somebody is building any sort of thing whether it is a house or any sort of job that they are doing for you you have to basically watch them so the point that I am trying to make is that it seems as if once a Jamaican gets an opportunity to steal, I am speaking in general, I am not saying that this is everybody, because people like me say, in most cases, Jamaicans are honest, hardworking people. However, people, the truth and the fact is that as somebody that lives in Jamaica and also lives in foreign people i know the difference for example if i am in jamaica and somebody come to do some sort of work whether it be digicel or flow i am going to hide every one of my belongings i am speaking about my jewelry me talk about my watch me talk about my wallet me talk about my phone rate lele blue blah bling and in foreign people i don't do it because i know that most of the times these places they are insured that means that if you miss anything you can call the company and you will be compensated however in jamaica it is going to take you a lifetime and a day to get back your money or get back your property so people i am just showing you as it pertains to jamaica and as it pertains to foreign we are one in the same jamaicans teeth are foreign jamaicans teeth are jamaica however people it is a bad habit that we have however it seems if it is in our natural instinct so people like i said i am just speaking in general because the truth and the fact that most jamaicans are hard-working people however there are a lot of riffraffs that are out there and like them say one bad apple spoils a whole damn bunch point blank and peer so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section Bless up.